Hello guys and welcome back to another video and maybe you already see and know what this video is about and it's about my experience at the BAP concert and I don't know if you hear my voice weird, weird but my voice is better but sometimes it cracks a little bit so excuse me for that but you know I, I party hard at the concert so this yeah so i will tell you my story how i got to the concert how the concert was how the overall experience was how i found the concert compared to last year and then i will show you my merch and other exciting stuff that i got at the concert so i went with six friends to the concert and we so five of my friends had to go to school so they came later but me and my one friend and another friend with her mom we took the train at 10 from my hotel hometown so normally it would take three hours to frankfurt by ETA. but the thing was somebody decided that friday was the perfect day to throw themselves in front of the train and to kill themselves and for that reason my train couldn't come to my hometown so I couldn't take the train so it's really sad that somebody died or committed suicide but I was really pissed because I had a I had a plan at what time we had to go where and what to do because even though we have a lot of time you know when you go to a cable concert you never know how long the lines are and all this stuff so we had to take another train to another city and then we could the, then we took the train to Han Frankfurt I'm sorry so we came one hour and 15, 15 minutes later on than we were supposed to do so everything was okay I was a little bit stressed but I was happy that I was finally at, in Frankfurt and then we went and ate lunch and we went to a lovely a restaurant called Soul Food it's near the main train station and there were a lot of people in that restaurant who were going to the concert and I met some lovely ladies and one of the girls name was Jenny and she also had seated tickets and then we decided oh maybe we see each other maybe we could sit together because her other friends were gold or silver so they couldn't be together and then after we ate we took the tra train to our hotel our hotel was a little bit far from frankfurt the main city so we were still in frankfurt it called hoost and that we had a hotel it was okay we only slept there though so we went in and as we were checking in my Korean friends arrived at the hotel and everything was good so they made it and then we checked in and then we put everything together for the concert put makeup on to look nice and all this stuff and then we left the hotel at Oh, 4 30 so we were a little bit late but everything was great because entry was at 6 30 so enough time to buy merch and all this stuff so we took a taxi to the um, hall because one of my friends her legs are really bad so she couldn't walk anymore and it wasn't that expensive and it wasn't that far away and then we arrived there and ticketing was already over so you wouldn't get a number but this was totally fine with us so then we got to the merch um line it was really really short so last year i had to wait two hours in line for my to for me to buy merch so i was really really surprised and happy about this so we got our merch and i pre-ordered some merch i will show you this later and then we got in line for seated and we thought we were very far behind but for those people who attended the concert so we were standing next to the merch booth the the white pavilion so 
we had a good position in the line and after a while we saw our line getting longer and longer and longer and then I, after we sat there, the girl Jenny, I, who I met in the restaurant, came to us and we met again. It was really funny that we would make again and she decided to go with us and so we were standing there talking, meeting some of the other lovely BAP fans because it's always great to meet other K-pop fans and then I decided to get our concert bracelets that I pre-ordered before, maybe you all know this these come on these ones so I bought like 12 in total and I have also some from last year because I collect those That's because I think they are great memories and then we were standing there and standing there so and waiting in line to get in and we I think we waited one and a half hours so it wasn't that bad and it wasn't raining it wasn't that cold so I was really happy about this and we had the luck that the mom had come with us from Ramos, from one of my friends and we she decided to stay outside and take care of our bags and our merchandise so it was really lovely because as you know you can't take in big bags or stuff like this and then a lady come and checked our tickets and we got the bracelets for the entry so everything could go faster and I really like the bracelets from this year because last year they were only the color, no writing on it. And I love green because you know BAP's color is green. And then it was finally time to go in and we gave the mom our bags and all this stuff. And the good thing was the lines moved very fast so I thought Seating was the last one to get in, but we got in really quickly and then we came in and everything was foggy, smelling like popcorn <laughs> and it was really funny and <laughs> the one thing I noticed, you could see the people who whose their first K-pop concert was because they were running like, oh my god, I need to get a place and I was like, oh, let's go slow because I'm old and we got up and only people who had these green things could go to the seated area there was a security lady who checked the bracelets and we got in and we had a fantastic view and I was really glad that I bought seated tickets because you know I'm not that big, tall and I don't like being squished by so many people and I know it could get crazy at a BAP concert so we decided to get CD tickets and it was really good and then we were so the seating area was like you had the first seated rows then there was a hallway and then there was another seated hall a seated area so we were sitting in the first at the right side and we had a great view and uh, we <laughs> so we four people sat down and then there was some lovely ladies from Munich who it was the first K-pop concert and they were really excited it was really great talking to all these people so we waited and waited and then finally the concert started and I knew how the concert was going because I watched Sana Story's concert video and it started with a DJ DJ2 and it was really great I had really a lot of fun because I like stuff like this and I got hyped but the people behind me, they weren't so sure of their feelings because they were seated. So even though I have a seated seat, even though I have a seat, I will not stay seated the whole time. I was standing all the time. Okay, one time I sat down when they were talking because my legs hurt so much. But I was really pissed at the people behind me because they ruined my mood. But around me all the people were celebrating and I had a lot of fun in my area. And then after like, oh, I don't know, 15 to 20 minutes, the DJ, finally BAP came and they had a countdown from 100 to 0 and everybody was so hyped and excited 
And then they came and I'm sorry, I don't remember the track list, how, what they performed. I only know what songs I missed. So I know they performed Bang Bang two times. They performed Batman. They performed Fermata, Noir, I Guess I Need You, and a lot of more songs that I forgot. I'm really sorry. But you know, when I am at a concert, I don't remember those things. And before the concert, I decided that I will not film anything. I oh, so my friends filmed some stuff and they sent it me, but I wanted to party without having my camera. So I didn't do anything. I only took some photos. But most of the time I was partying, so they performed like three to four songs. Then there was the event, and for Frankfurt it was Zello's time to pick somebody. And of course he picked somebody from the crazy front row, because we are too far away. And it was a lady, she was as tall as him and she was 19. And he was like, oh I'm your boyfriend for the day, <laughs> it was really cool and stuff like this. And then the concert went on and on, and you saw Him Chan having. Him Chan wasn't dancing to his fullest because of his injury, but this was totally okay. And the other guys seemed like they had a lot of fun and stuff. So, and then the concert was ending after two hours, and I thought it was so short the concert, so short. It went by so fast. And one thing, I, two songs I really, really missed because I wanted to hear those songs and these were Angel and Young and Wild and Free, but they didn't play those. So the last song was Baby and it was really emotional. Oh, I love this song. And then the concert was over and we were getting out. We were waiting for some friends who had high touch. And for the high touch, I can say it was the same as last year. Fast, fast, fast. So, yeah, I know this stuff happens. So we were waiting outside and then we got home and fell asleep at 2 a.m. <laughs> and I will not tell you what I did the rest of the day on Saturday because I think it's boring for you. But I went to last year's concert and I can compare and... One thing that I have to say that really bothered me was the fans and BAP was great as always. I think it was too short like always but you know this is the personal stuff. And I want to say before I say my opinion about this concert, everybody has different opinions and this is only mine. The concert was still great but because I went to a BAP concert before I had can do some comparison and this is what I saw. and. I thought the fans wasn't, they were partying, of course, it was great, they were flipping out. But for the singing part, when I went to Dusseldorf in 2016, it was such an amazing concert because we sung every song of the concert. It was like us singing together with BAP and it was so great. And for this concert, it wasn't that much. So BAP tried to get us singing, but I guess not all the people knew the song text. So this didn't really work. So I, I could sing, but not everybody, because I think there were a lot of new fans. And I think it's okay for new fans to not know everything. And at the end, it got a little bit better, because they played noir, so newer songs, and baby, and at the end, we sung Wake Me Up for them and it was great, but I still missed those fan interactions with singing and all this stuff. So this is the one point I really missed and yeah, I hope maybe next year that the fans will knew the song text better because I think if you go to a concert, Please listen to the albums. Even though you don't know the song text, please listen to the albums so you maybe know the refrain or stuff like this. But overall it was a great experience and I will think they will come back next year in May again. And I'm hoping that they will go to the Jahrhunderthalle in Frankfurt again because I really like that hall because you had seated area and you had standing area and it was basically a good experience. So this is all my talk for how the concert went. If you have questions, feel free to ask me. 
And now we come to my merch and all the stuff that I got. And I spent way too much money again. <laughs> so guys, I bought all my merch with me. So I pre-ordered one thing and I bought two more things at the merch stand. And like last year, I bought a hoodie and a t-shirt and I will show you them. And so I'm really sorry about this. So at the front, oh, it's really in focus. I love this. One moment, please. So at the front, you have Party Baby. And at the back, I hope you can see this. Uh, you have high like the tour dates and all this stuff and this jacket was 60 and it is okay it is pricey but it is okay and I think I will buy this every year so I have one jacket also from last year and then I bought something that wasn't on my list and this is a t-shirt I think I will use so I also bought one t-shirt last year but I don't wear it as much as I thought I would but I think I will use this form for sleeping because I like those t-shirts. And at the back it's the same as a jacket. And all the two dates and stuff like this. And this one was 25 a little bit expensive. But you know, this is the world. And then one thing I pre-ordered. And I thought this would be different to say this. So I ordered the eco bag like I did last year also and this time you could pre-order it so you could uh, pick it up at the merch thing and you have party baby and then you have this came in this bag with a merch official sticker and this was 24 yeah 24 and I like this but I was a little bit disappointed because I like the stuff from last year better because this has only one thing here and only opens up like this you have this to clip it in but yeah if I knew this would look like this maybe I wouldn't have aborted it and now to the stuff that I didn't plan on buying so I basically I didn't board it so one thing was we were standing at the merch stand and my friend was buying her stuff and then a lady I guess from my life entertainment came and had three sign carnival albums and you know I own a signed carnival album but my friend didn't and she bought it for 20 what I think is a really good price and she opened this and you have the standy and the full card and my friend doesn't collect those things so she gave it to me and I was really really happy because you all know my bias is um Youngook and she had the Youngook standing and I was like I was like playful like oh this is mine and she was like yeah here take it and I was like oh really and she gave it to me and I was really really happy about this and then she also had a photo card and she didn't need it I guess so she gave it to me and it's Taeyang's photo card and it's a balloon one so now I have Youngup's Matoki card and a balloon card so I really like it and so these are the two things I got from that but then the craziest thing happened so I told you that I was going there with five of my Korean friends and they had silver tickets and with silver tickets you get albums and posters and they gave me their albums and one of their posters so the poster is already hanging up at my wall so I can't show you this maybe I will take a picture and put it at the end of this video but basically it's a poster from the Rose era and at the bottom at the top stands BAP 2000 World Tour Party, ba Party Baby Europe Boom and I really like it because I didn't bought anything so and then the crazy thing they were like oh Louisa, Louisa do you need albums I was like yeah so and then they gave me the albums ah and I was like oh my god so I already bought this album but signed and I was like oh my god this is so great and Sarang uni, Dai uni, Heri uni, Gai uni, Jihoni, Komao <laughs> so they're watching my channel and they said oh this is for your channel and the cards I got with this was 
Um, him chan's big card and I only have one big card because one didn't came with one but I have two photo cards because my friend gave him me her photo card she only wanted the big photo card and she had young ups photo card and then the photo card I got was Dayon's photo card I don't know which version this is because I'm not really familiar and then I got also Yang Jae's photo card and they're really lovely and I was really really happy to get this because I was like, oh my god, you're giving me these stuff, and these albums aren't cheap, and oh my god. So, they got them for free, but they also bought it, so I was like, oh my god. And I'm really happy to have this, so I'm still waiting for my BAP album that I ordered. But BAP is still on the world tour, so we have to wait for this. And yeah. This is my long, long video about the concert, but I had so much to tell you guys. And I hope you liked this video. This was the ex concert experience from my view. Of course, people will have different views and stuff like this. And yeah, but I, it was really lovely. I met a lot, a lot of lovely persons there and girls, and boys. And I love, it was really funny and a little bit stressful, but you know. This is my third concert from K for K-pop and I know how it works now so I could help the others because it was their first K-pop concert so I wanted to have them the greatest experience that they can and all this stuff, yes! So guys, I hope you liked this kind of video and I will see you in my next video, bye!